morning from beautiful sunny Shanghai. If you're watching me for the first time, my name is Kaya and I live in Shanghai. I'm on my way to the gym, but before I'm gonna go to my gym, I'm gonna take you somewhere very, very exciting. Yes, you guessed it. I'm taking you to a supermarket. How exciting. But it's not just any supermarket, it's a Chinese supermarket, which means that it will be pretty exciting. Unless you're Chinese and don't watch this video, then this video will probably be ridiculous for you. I see a fork. I feel like you have to be aware of one thing. This video will be filled with a lot of I don't know why because I'm just a foreigner and I don't know many things. Also, what a great idea to, <laughs> to film this video on a Saturday where I just have to like yell to this camera and I'm still not sure if you can hear me. It's your basic yogurt bitch. So when you come in into the Chinese supermarket, you have milk right here. Milk in China is actually pretty expensive. This is 25, like an average brand of milk. I'll put like conversion to US dollars on the screen. I don't know US dollars. I'm not from US. Even though people keep telling me to go back to America. That's actually funny. You know how like haters always tell me in the comments like go back to America if you don't like China. And I'm like, I cannot go back to America. I didn't come from there, okay? <laughs> Making friends. If you really like cheese, I really like cheese, don't come to China. No, you can come to China, but be ready to pay a lot for cheese. So this is our little cheese section. That's like literally it ends here. Like that's all cheese we got in the supermarket, which is actually probably a lot for China. I would imagine in other cities they don't have as much. Look at the prices. Like this is goat cheese that I usually get at home in Denmark and it's I would imagine in Denmark it's like half price. And it's like a tiny tiny one. So this is our frozen thing section where you mainly will be able to find dumplings. All kinds of dumplings. All dumplings that your heart desire. So you even hear how loud she's talking. So loud. She's advertising these dumplings. Oh my god, I swear. I have to show you this. So if you're Chinese, if someone is watching this video for some reason, anyways, what is this? Can you please tell me? Like at this time of the year, they all buy that. There are different options, or I don't know if they're different. Some kind of sweet. I know it's sweet. I tasted it and it tastes different. Yeah, it's not really my favorite, but like, let me know if you know what it is. Because I know it's something particular. I remember where I, when I lived here before, it was also this time of the year, like early spring, that all of a sudden you can find them everywhere, even at Starbucks. If you like cereals just like me or mostly, don't fear for your life. We have it here. Also plenty of oats. So don't worry about oats. Let's continue our tour. Shit. This is my favorite section of the supermarket, the fruits and veggies section. This is the section that I try to avoid, which is candy section. This is the love of my life, dragon fruit. Look at this, look at all this dragon fruit. Like one dragon fruit, you probably have to wait at first, so it depends on the size, obviously. But one is like, probably five kwai or something, so it's really nothing. This is where they sell all things that I don't know. I don't know, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I know. I, I have no idea and I don't want to know. So yeah, I could basically just like walk around and show you possibly like 500 more things that I have no idea what they are, but I will just stop here. Um, what is this? But it seems to be a popular item because it's sold out. That's the last one. Yeah, basically in Chinese supermarkets you have like a huge selection of these like dry things. I don't know how I could explain it. Just all kinds of stuff. Dry stuff. I also have this whole bread section, all kinds of bread. We even have like baguette and like normal, I mean normal, okay. That kind of bread, you know. 
and then like shit tons of toast bread but yeah and they're also like pastries and stuff like that and then there are also things that I don't know what they are but they're like Chinese cookies you know like these someone told me it's good I filmed it before and someone told me it's good so if you ever come to China try this we're entering the dum -dum 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 oil section look at this oil let's look look this is my hand and this is the oil oh shit it must be like I swear, this is more than 5 kilo. Must be like, I don't even know. The oil section is real. It's like oil, oil everywhere. Oil everywhere. But here you have more like dry things. See, all kinds of like goji berries that I know. That's why I'm showing it to you. So I don't sound totally incompetent. Hello. This section of our supermarket in the back is the foreign section and the foreign section at Carrefour at this Carrefour is actually pretty big so you've got all the products that you're probably used to but from back home if you are from Europe ketchup pickles tuna pasta sauce pasta all kinds of like foreign spices all the foreign products are here don't fear for your life you can get them here the only thing about foreign products in China is that they're gonna be more expensive since they are imported they also recently made this huge section of wine which I think it's not extremely common in Chinese supermarkets but it's definitely getting more and more popular so this supermarket is basically located in a shopping center it's like a gigantic shopping mall ninth floor I think everything is here you can do everything here basically. <gasps> can you hear Mama Isha? So probably majority of brands that you're used to from back home, they're here, so don't worry. The only thing you should be worried about is that everything is gonna be in Chinese, so you're not gonna understand. This is a very traditional Chinese thing. They're called, I think in Chinese, Hongbao, correct me if I'm wrong. Basically, they're, I mean, they're like red envelopes and for Chinese New Year's, I think, and maybe other holidays as well, you put money in there. So like they don't give each other presents, but they put money in these envelopes. This is what we we're always missing at Weilu. Oh, this is something I forgot about. Crucial for every Chinese supermarket. Insta noodles. So this is pretty much it. Thank you for coming on this little tour of my local supermarket here in China. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.